How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video for today. Uh, today I'll be traveling. Today I'll be driving 1993 Nissan uh, uh, Frontier, which is a manual. Let's see how it goes. Oh, not much of a big difference, you know, but um, compared to being a 1993, to a newer car that I drive as a daily driver, which is my, my Subaru SDI. Um, it doesn't feel too bad, you know? It feels very stable. Feels, uh, the steering wheel is pretty light too. Uh, you can see it has 147,000 miles and 230. And it's a uh, five speed uh, manual. It's pretty dirty because it looks like it's been sitting around for a while. Um, one thing I'm kind of noticing is that the, the gears are pretty, um, they're pretty long. Like you don't have to shift as constantly as, as uh, my Subaru. But you know, reason being because it's a six speed manual, which is understandable. All right, so here we go. The hearing is, is really smooth as well. Shit, really nice as well. The clutch is, is, is good, you know. It's, it's, it's not too heavy. Sorry about the wind noise. I, I forgot I had the windows open. I don't even know if the AC even works for a 1993. Um, it's, yeah, it's not Lightweight gearing, see they go in smoothly, no no grinding or anything like that. Like I said, the clutch is, is pretty good, um, good as new. But um, let's see what we got here that paper, it's, it's really dirty, as you can see. Uh, yep, looks like it's been sitting for a while. The top looks easy, looks dirty, you know, just like the rest of the interior. It's not too bad. So, yeah. I will probably um, step on the gas, but I got some uh, stuff in the back of the truck. Uh, reason being because. Uh, I was hoping my dad fix his uh, van, which you know broke down. So we had to swap out the engine. It would have been a really nice video if I would have recorded that and uh, put it out there and then uh, you know some, some like step by step and, and show you guys um, how how can you like um, take out an engine and put a new engine in. Uh, in uh, uh, I think it's a. Uh, I think it's a Chevy. Yeah, it's a Chevy Astro Band. Uh, I know it's really difficult, but uh, it definitely was a lot of work. Uh, very hard uh, because you know it's very constricted on the front. Um, so you have to either cut out the the front end of the of the Astro Bands for you to actually get some space to um, get the old engine out and then put the new engine in. But you know. Uh, the way my dad did it, it was a lot different, uh, which it wasn't too bad because of, you know, his experience and skills, you know, got him pretty quick. It was probably out, well, after he already uh, poured out the whole motor and everything, it probably took like about uh, about 30 minutes to take out the engine from the engine bay. And then uh, another 30 minutes to uh, put in the, the new engine. So uh, it wasn't it wasn't too bad. Um, but like I say, you know, I'm pretty sure there's so many ways that you can do it. But uh, as being as uh, as do yourself, you know, type of thing. You know, that's that's the kind of video that would have been. That
I believe, in my opinion, that um, back in the 80s and 90s, I think that's where the real cars were made, um, and they were definitely made to last. Uh, that's just in my opinion. Definitely not made to last for a lifetime. Definitely to last for a good while. Um, this truck being, for this truck being 1993, oh, pretty good uh, as far as like, you know, everything else. It probably has a lot of corrosion and um, does and whatnot, but you know, it's pretty dirty from the inside. It's probably been sitting around for a long time, but I'll give you a walk around so y'all can uh, see what I'm talking about.